time. It's just a, it's a physical game out there, and, and we, we have to draw more fouls. But there's going to be times in the game where I'm going to disagree with the officials, and that's just part of it. How critical were those second chance opportunities they were able to get? I mean, because huge, they don't... And, you know, part of it, I'm sure I'll look it back at it and I'll say, well, somebody did not maintain a block out, a block out or they did not, weren't strong enough with their block out. But there's other times that they're just longer than us, taller than us, uh, great hands. I mean, Hayes has great hands, Decker, Barry Kaminsky, great hands, and they, they got them back. And that hurt us almost every time. And so, uh, the, the frustration would be sometimes when we have position and we get nudged out of there, then you get frustrated because you only can do so much to you. It's hard for us to rebound as it is when we have possession. We don't get it. That's where the frustration comes from. Zach Irvin hits the three, makes it 54-54 all. What do you say to your team? Well, we, we just had to get stops. That was the issue in the second half. And, and, you know, in the, the first half, we couldn't stop them, you know, and, and because of second half the opportunities. Uh, you know, I, I thought we could we, – we, everything was going to have to break right. We were going to have to get them to miss some shots. It's almost impossible because they have so many passers to keep them from getting open shots. There's, and, and, or if you go single coverage in the post, you're going to have a lot of trouble. And we got some runouts because of that. But we just had to try and get stopped, but it was effort area, believe in it, just keep working. How is it a team that can be as physical as they are and still do not get fouls called? Well, they work. I think they really work at it. That is their thing. They work at it. At the same time, you know, there's got to be – just there's got to be some time because we we're, we're not I don't think we took shot as many jump shots as we have in the past we did take it to the basket uh, but they're really they must be extremely good at it <laughs> coach, well played coach put into perspective the year as a whole for you guys obviously had some some curveballs yeah. on your way this year put well, in perspective at the end of the tournament where, where do you see the season yeah I, you know I, I thought more than anyone that it was a, a transitional season as it was um, and I don't think I came up with that word. I think one of you came up with that word. Uh, but it was I, I, we knew what we were losing from the from the year before with with, with five of our top eight, and uh, so I knew we were going to go through that, and and that was going to have challenges. And then now we have the, the Levert injury, then we have the Walton injury. It was like three seasons in it. And um, if I knew what I knew now, obviously I would have done a lot a lot of things differently because of those injuries, et cetera. But. Um, I just thought it was a great year of growth for for the individuals and hopefully our program because as we go forward right now, that team right there could be pretty good one day. Because part of you just want to get in the NIT to see if you can make yeah, that, that run? Yeah, that would be good for us to do, just to have, see if we can, and just experience winning experience. Because the NIT now, it is, uh, it, you look at it right now and it's difficult to win in that. You're going to go on the road, there's going to be very difficult teams that you're going to play. Guys, teams like us, I mean, and if we're playing a final, a possible Final Four team to a, you know, single-digit single game or really anybody could win with five minutes to go, look what's out there. So it's, it would be a great experience. I have a, uh, great memories of being in the NIT several times and uh, two great runs, and uh, it would be great to do that with this team. What's your case you'd make to the committee to get in? Well, I think you got to look at our season right now and see that, there's, that certainly there were points where we didn't uh, play up to as good as we can be, but there were reasons behind that. Uh, there were early injuries that led to some tough losses, and then as we came on, you look at you look at all the overtime losses, all the close losses, that shouldn't separate us from a team that played maybe not the same schedule. You know, who knows who's right on strength of scheduling, but you guys see the numbers. It's somewhere between 9 and 20. Um, and that's, I, I'm proud of the way that we played hard in all those situations. It's really good teams. Coach, you mentioned some of the benefits of this year. And obviously, today and the last time you played Wisconsin, you gave them a, as good a run as just about anybody in the conference. What, do you, what does that say to you about how the young players have taken to the system? Well, they, they, you know, they just, uh, we don't have any issues in practice. We don't have any issues with guys going to class. We don't have any issues like that. So they are really um, it, sort of embracing the process. And our coaching staff, those three guys in there have done a great job of helping them embrace the process. So with that, that mindset, half the time we already missed a layup again today on something we've been working on, but at least he tried it. So there's been some great things that are going on, and so we're, uh, we're just all proud of them. We can't wait to get back to work with them, actually. There's a committee for the NIT? Yeah, it's the same as the NCA. Okay, it's the same. And what they'll end up taking from the, the NCA committee will then, since they took it over, there used to be a committee in New York, Jack Powers, used to run that and now it's taken over by the NCA and they will be they'll look at this from a very broad perspective and try and pick the next 32 teams after they pick their 68. Another big step for Zach Irvin today is this 
is he starting to realize what he can be? Oh, without question. I mean, I mean he's he's so proud of his assists right now because we made such a big issue. But how about the 11 rebounds? Mm -hmm. I mean, just look at the numbers from last year. Look at rebounds per minute last year, rebounds per minute now, uh, or or minutes per rebound rather. It's it's it's, it's very impressive. So I, you know, he's showing that he can he can play a lot of positions next year, and we like it when you have guys that are that versatile. Coach, even coming off of a loss, every time you talk about your team, you smile. What's your feeling? I about am. Am I smiling now? Yeah, you smile every time you talk about it. You and so and we had no choice this year is to look at, at the, the cards we were dealt early and then later on. That, that what are we going to do? We're just going. We got to. I've always because I've been in these situations where you're rebuilding a team. You you know you've seen it before, and it, it's. It was very difficult for all of us, and I think there were some points in the in the year that I get get very frustrated. But when we try to look at, all right, what, what's this going to be? Once we get through it, we're going to all be better off for it. Mark asked you to make the case to keep playing. Do you expect to to make it in there? Um, I expect that the the NCA and the NIT will be very fair, and they will they will pick the right thirty two teams. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and we're really good. I think if people look beneath the record right now and understand what we went through, we're a very good team. But they, they, they do a great job. I have great faith in them that they'll pick the right teams. What were you told about the tech? Please? What was I told about? I wasn't told anything about it. Was it arguing that uh, the, of, of the files in general, or was it? It was just a general overall disagreement. <laughs> <laughs> Say a magical word? No, I did not. No, I did not. If humor me means a magical word. I just, it was, I, I do not know. You'd have to ask them. Backboard, you're talking, that was kind of some of your argument? That it was just backboard? I, um, they, I want to keep that between my, the officials and myself. Just one, just one time, I think, was part of what you said. Just one time. Maybe that Something was, like that. I, I, I do not know. <laughs> Wisconsin year in and year out is always one of the more physical games on the yeah. schedule. Was it was that one of the more physical games you played this year? Well, they're they're going to be they're always going to be really yeah. strong on the dribble, and they're they're not going to help off the shooters, and they're going to make you score through through physical contact. And we practice it a lot, and we just need you know uh, it, despite them beating us with some great last second plays, Gasser's bank shot, and then Russell's shot, uh, we've gotten better over the years with that. And uh, Hardaway, uh, and Stauskas, Burke—they all—they all got got a, a, some wins there, uh, and they got a win there, and they got a win at our place, a couple wins at our place. But it's still—it's difficult. It's really difficult. You know, while circumstances caused so much that happened this year, I remember back to you know preseason media day. It yeah. was the idea of keeping NCAA tournament streak, you know, yeah. going yeah. and yeah. stability in the program. Yeah. And while. Like I said, circumstances, you know, that, that perspective might not be held outside of here. Yeah. Where do you kind of put the program? Well, we know the truth. We know the truth. Time is a friend of truth. And we'll look at this, and, and as much as it's very humble, there's great humility in it. And we, we want to be one of those programs that you see, like Wisconsin, where their kids don't know what it's like to go to NIT. They only go to the NCAA. Michigan State has a great run of that going right now. That, But it does happen. And you gotta say, okay, what's the truth? And then we'll bounce back, and that's be our that's be our expectation going forward. That we get back to where we've been the last four or five years. That, that we're not only in the tournament, we can make runs in the tournament. That's that's the hope now. To what we'll work for. How much more optimistic are you about next year, given what you've seen from these guys over the yeah, last, the last three months? Three months gives us a lot of cause to, to say, you know what, we want to play again, and if the opportunity comes forward, and that uh, it's going to be great. It's going to be a battle. It'll be competitive. You know, we couldn't always have that. And the, you know what, I, I'll give these guys this credit is they looked at the bench and there wasn't a lot there waiting to come in, and they did not use that to their advantage. They still played really hard. And so uh, I, I know that it will be very competitive next year uh, for, for positions, and I'm, I think that, that will be good for everybody. John, Kieran said he wants to wait almost to the deadline to try to make a decision based on health, based on various yeah. factors. Obviously, that would put you guys in a little bit of a bind with the scholarship. Are you going to... Would you like him to make a decision quickly? Well, you know, we're waiting. We're waiting for the NBA has not done the advisory yet. They should be starting to do it right now. His name is in. Uh, you know, we'll discuss as we get gain more information. So I don't think there'll be any date. Uh, and if the longer it takes for him to do it, that, that we just stick with him all the way through it. But you know, he, he, I want him to get him as, as much information, and then when he knows what he wants to do, we'll support him. What did you see from Zach on the four-five cross match against Kaminsky? Uh, you know he is a. Uh, there, there was times he did a really good, really good job. That guy is a load, and he, he is such a bright player. And if you look at it, how, how many, just 
check out the country. That's the only team in the country that their biggest guy is leading them in assists. I mean, so it's tough to guard him because, and we tried to double different ways. I thought in the first half when we doubled, we doubled, we didn't attack double. We second half, we were much more attacking with him. We were just sort of there. And that was a key. We got some runouts in the second half, but uh, Zach is, can be a league defender. I think he's learning more about angles, much like Tim Hardaway became a much better defender over time. Um, Zach has the opportunity to really be a shutdown. Yeah, you, you won the NIT once. Yes. What, you know, how do you kind of view the, what can be gained from it? I mean, you guys are yeah. beat up. Well, we, <laughs> yeah. No, we, and I saw it. I saw the team. It was very uh, similar to this team. And then I saw Bobby Huggins added a few pieces to that team. And then he's a heck of a coach. And they went to the Final Four with basically 50, 60, 70, 60 percent of those guys. And Bob did a great job with them. So you could just see it, you know, that they can they can play in those big arenas and uh, big uh, big environments and do well. So it's a great thing. And New York and this time of the year and the whole thing is really a uh, it's a fun place to be. So if we can get there, I will go full gas for it all. You guys like put, put a bid in for a home game? How does that work? Yeah, we did. Yes, okay. we, we put bids in. Uh, we had to sign the papers and say say you're in, and then we put in a bids for home games, perhaps. But you just you don't know, and it will be driven a lot by the committee, by TV. Uh, it's all it's all good. It's all good. Win or lose, it's all good. Has anyone told you anything about record and the limitations? No, I don't know anything about that. I thought you guys told me last year it's that you don't have to have a. It's not a rule. It used you to be a rule. To, it used yeah. to be a rule, but I think with that was before no any, anybody anybody knew what an RPI was. Right. So if you look at our RPI, if you look at this right. this thing, 68 team goes, and there's some certainly some at large. There's 90, you know, there's 96 teams or 98 teams. Is that right? Going to go. So if we're if we're we're certainly one of those, but you could get spoiled by. The teams that have, that right. won their league and aren't in the top 100. And tickets still bad too, don't they? Uh, I would assume that they do, but I, but I think that it's more important right now that they get the best, the get, make make a fair decision. The next 32. You know, the next 32, right? So it's a great opportunity for us to continue going forward. You have talked about all the adjustments that have been made this year. When yeah. you look at your your coaching performance, yeah. do you how do you kind of oh, gauge yourself man. in That's terms of how you handled it? <laughs> Uh, it was really, it, it, I second guess myself so many times because you don't know, you know, what you could do. You just, it was always, you sort of thinking, all right, what's the next move, what's the next chess move to do this, or, or checkers move, or whatever. And sometimes it worked and sometimes it didn't, but we had no, what are you going to do? You, you got to do something. And so some of the stuff worked and some of it didn't, but there's some, obviously some things I'd love to do over again, uh, had I known that, you know. So. Right, thanks, thanks, so much. Much. thanks everybody. Thanks.